Breaks no bones. Huh. You know, that is a really solidly built robot. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty dainty, I guess. The size of its joints and things. Yeah. It doesn't have a lot of impact surfaces. But that robot can take a beating. Mm -hmm. Dropped out of helicopters. Falling out of a Metal Gear. Getting catapulted 100 feet and landing with no support. Yeah, just sit around and talk while you just my got ankle. launched. My ankle. Uh, Only my ankle hurts. Uh, Are you okay? Uh, that was bound to happen. She's a girl in an action thing. Yeah. What about Akiba? He fell into the ocean. Snake, catch up soon. You go ahead. It's okay. Her ankle was shot. <laughs> I was out of con. I was out of con trying to look cool with a robot. I think it worked. Okay. All right. You know what? Oh. Otacon should have stopped trying to make a tiny robot and just make it an exosuit for himself or something. Just yes. let him do everything. Yes. But then who would watch Sunny? You can have a camera point at her that gets. Fed into a monitor you know, in his exosuit. She didn't make any eggs for this. But what, what's up with the eggs? I don't know, but there's a war slump, so everything's 50% off. Also, that check out what Sunny's doing. The whole, no matter, every time you check on her, she's just sitting there, all sad. So let's buy every single gun we have not bought yet. <laughs> Except for the Tanagashima, because that's still expensive. There, we own every single gun in the game you can get, besides that one rifle and any of the unlockables. Hooray! And we have all the custom parts now. Hooray. So, here's our um, compromise. Mm -hmm. First and possibly only time. Yep. <laughs> oh well, it's last time. Well, I'm glad we made that decision. It mm -hmm. had a very profound well, impact. Well, I did it in a different way in the previous couple of videos, too. Oh, okay. It popped up, and then it just tran did a transition to what I picked. Um, so this is the final big stealth map. It's really hard the first time you play through it, because there are lots of guards everywhere, and they're not just mm -hmm. on the floor. They they have, like, perches way up top that they can... They, they've got snipers on, and first time you play this, you probably won't look up at all. Ah. And so the snipers can catch up. you. Oh. In sync, but in opposite directions. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but yeah, I like this map. It kind of makes me think of the outside parts of the tanker of MGS2, which was the best part of MGS2. Yeah. Um, lots of places to climb. There's pretty decent amount of different ways you can take this map. First time we play how, through it. How many will we be seeing today? Um, well, I take a route that kind of like zigzags through a bunch of different routes. Oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. and gotta take this lady out because she always catches me. Not today, frog. You got roboted. Mm hmm. First time you go through this map, it can take quite a while. Um, I remember playing Will we this. be using any of the new guns we just got off Dreaden? Yep. Um, I got the Desert Eagle. I do not have them equipped right now, but we'll use them later in the video. I also bought the most powerful sniper rifle. Um, it has an S-Rank. Is that the one we just used, or no? No. I can't oh, okay. use that one here because it's really loud and you can't put a suppressor on it. <laughs> but yeah, lots of places to climb in this map. They or a little hard to notice at That's first. Cool. Um, no, it, it's it's rare to see a stealth map in anything that's vertically oriented. Mm -hmm. That's. I wish there were more maps like this, where you could like zigzag up and down through stuff, because I think that makes mm -hmm. levels a lot more interesting. We have an up down element instead of just the floor. Yeah. Also, it's just trying to sneak on the floor itself is actually pretty hard. It's a lot smarter to actually go up. 
on the railings and ladders and stuff because there's a lot less people up there. And he, he and they, the guards look up, like the guards right down below me are looking up, but mm-hmm. they're not bright enough to realize, hey, some of the holes are covered. There might be something up there. It's a cloudy day. Yeah. All right. Man, snake, you gotta work on your shimmying. <laughs> Well, at least what we can. Happened? You used to have such a high shimmy level. <laughs> Make him chrome at least. Nice. You have pimped that ass. <laughs> Doesn't have much longer to live. Might as well pimp it out as much as possible. <laughs> and one guard right up here. I think this guard's scripted. She always drops right on top of me. Doesn't matter what I do. If I come right here, she just pops right up above me. Whatever. Thank you. And there aren't just frogs in this map. Um, up ahead, there are geckos too. Oh, okay. Um, there's one gecko always patrolling. Uh, at times there'll be two. If you get an alert, there's like three or four oh, in a tight right. space. Well, watch, watch out for those things and their moo cow ways. Yes. I feel like dealing with these people. <laughs> and I was met, I mentioned that they were... Oh, wait, I got to get this ps first. There's a gecko. Yeah, this map... The biggest reason why this map is pretty hard is that... You can't... The area you have to go into is sealed with a watertight door. So you can't just open the door. You have to stand there for a little while and crank the wheel on it. Oh, There's a sneaky okay. sniper. It's really hard to find. But yeah, so um, with the door you have to open, if you get caught, there's no place really to hide to that when you're trying to open that door or anything, mm-hmm. and you'll get shot a lot, and you, you'll you probably die before you can actually crank the wheel enough. Well, what was that? Oh, it was just me waiting for the frogs to waiting move. forever? Not forever, but it was enough that it felt awkward to just leave it there. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, oh, I'm sneaking! Mm. Did, did you wait there longer than it took for us to just talk about you waiting? Yeah. Okay. Understandable, then. I mean, I, I do editing, I pull out a stopwatch and everything. <laughs> and then I talk over and is this, is it feasible that this might be too long? I don't know, we gotta stopwatch this. So at this point, I mean, is having a gecko between you and your objective even intimidating? At this point, no, not really. Mul- having multiple geckos on you, yeah, because if, if they're an alert, they kind of just tail you all around this place. Mm-hmm. And it's really hard to hide from them. Um, but if there's just a singular gecko, not really. Also, if the second gecko drops in, but if you just wait a little bit, mortars and stuff from the Missouri just blow it up for you. (laughs) That's great. Somehow they haven't sunk yet. I don't know. And right after that gecko explodes, a sniper up there goes, huh? She's just clueless. Yeah, whatever. Well, I'd be pretty clueless. Gecko aren't supposed to explode. Not from ancient weaponry. Yeah. Well, if you shoot at something with a lot of ancient weaponry, though. Snake, use that watertight door to get in. Way ahead of the Otacon. Come to, on. To a point with ancient weaponry. It's not like Civ like Why, Cif- are, why are you listening to the LP, Otacon? <laughs> why? Uh. It's not like Civ 4 where I, ha- I once had my aircraft carrier sunk by a single tribal man who threw a spear at it and somehow <laughs> sunk it. It just did enough <laughs> HP damage. Thanks a lot, tribal men. <laughs> so yeah, we're switching. Why are you attacking tribal men with the aircraft carrier, you monster? <laughs> you monster! It was just there and they didn't like it being there, so they started throwing spears at it, alright? I didn't provoke them, aside from moving a scary, giant metal monstrosity. It's like the gods must be crazy, but with naval artillery. (laughs) I don't have a brain to get microwaved anyways. 
Yeah. His face is half I, I hope it doesn't anyway. mess up your hair. Look at that wavy hair. Snake might be old, but he still cares about his hair. Still puts a lot of product through it, rinses it a lot. I make Otacon land the plane every month to get some Pert Plus. <laughs> oh, and if you start aiming now... It's the only brand I trust. Snake's vision starts getting a little weird. And there's that weird nano machine noise going on, too. <laughs> I like that nano machines make a noise now. Yep. <sighs> Hologram. Mm. Mm. Don't trust the hologlobe. I know I should probably be doing mission related things, but this globe here, I just have to see how many countries I can name off the top of my head. United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama. Huh. This is not an obvious trap. Nope. Maybe I can get them to rig up a, a planetarium in here. A lot of good planetarium. Maybe some kind of laser light show set to David Bowie. That flip is very unnecessary. <laughs> That, this one too. Oh, you know, you just you start talking about Bowie, and the ladies go nuts. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Where on the globe is Zanzibar Land, anyway? I think Zanzibar Land is supposed to be somewhere in Africa. Okay. Yeah. Because that narrows it down an entire continent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying this off the top of my head, I don't know if it's actually true, but for some reason it sounds like it might be South Africa. <laughs> so I cut it in half there for Sub you. Sub-Saharan. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Also, also, yeah, using the... Walk five feet. Oh, no. Oh, no. Finally using the best sniper rifle. Oh, God. <laughs> it uh, has an S rank in damage. It does half the amount of damage that a rocket-propelled grenade does. So you really should be able to jump right on your face and tear your face up with their foot claws. Yeah. Like Vamp. They just don't have the level of finesse that Vamp has with his claw feet. He wears those They bed. aren't feminine enough. The actual women are not <laughs> as feminine as Vamp. Vamp wears claw feet in his, in his sleep. He dreams every night of doing ballet. So you don't, you don't even really have to shoot them very precisely with this rifle to just kill them. You can shoot them in the leg and they'll die. Because this is a hey. rifle meant for shooting through tanks. Their legs are huge. Their legs are huge. There's a lot of meat to take out, a lot of blood loss, very quickly. Mm -hmm. Oh. What do you have attached on that? A grenade launcher? Yep. Oh, okay. And I'm learning things. Oh. And, and I'm getting better. Wait, a while ago, like Act 3, somebody asked me if you could actually pick up grenade ammo for the grenade launcher because it doesn't use normal grenades, and yes, you can. It's just really oh. rare. Okay. I didn't even know. I was just looking, re watching some video, making sure it came out right, and yes, I picked up grenades for the grenade launcher. I'm, I'm learning just because things too. so few enemies happen to have grenade launchers on them. Mm -hmm. Okay. That gun is ridiculously big. Yup. It's the gun Johnny had with him, but he dropped him in the ocean. Oh well. It's a good thing you had a spare along with a half dozen other guns. Yup. Those foot pockets never steered Snake wrong. All these years. Check out this flip. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a ceiling slinky. I was really hoping that I could kill her while she was doing that flip, so she would just fly off somewhere. Unfortunately, she didn't. This happened before, oh. though. If you kill them at like one specific point of their little flip, they just catapult themselves across the map. Powerful thighs are not to be underestimated. Look what I did. <laughs> Neither are monitors, <laughs> by the way. Very solidly built monitors. Yeah. That scream is unsettling. Mm -hmm. 